God made men upright. So if a man wants to be a woman, he's backwards. Right. God didn't make that. A person chose that. So that would mean they did not, it was not in them already because God didn't put it there. They chose that. Go ahead. The falling of souls. Go ahead. Changing of time. What do our people do? Changing of time. Now you have homosexuality. Now you have a woman trying to change her privates to be a man, and a man changing his privates to be a woman. Changing of times. So if I'm okay with it, and I'm like, you know what? It's all right that you live like that. If I never correct the person that's like that, it said I'm worthy of death too. Right. It says I'm just as guilty. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's gonna rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Hey. Israel, united in Christ, is a non Violent, violent, faith, movement. IUIC. You are now live. Let's go. The Israelites. Right. The Israelites. Right. All right. Now who is the Israelites? Now who is the Israelites? All praises. That's a great question. Right. Who? He said the question is. Who is God's chosen people? The answer is the Israelites. Then you ask, who are the Israelites? Now remember, did you acknowledge first that God is a black man with woolly hair? No, I didn't say that. Why not? I didn't say that. Is he? I didn't say that. Because I didn't see, I don't see, I don't see him. I never seen God. Oh, praise No man had Does the Bible describe God? Does, does, the the Bible, does the Bible describe God? No. No? No. Nope. All oh, praises the Lord. No, he said the Bible does not the, describe God. The, the Bible You're his own. You go to church, sis. You go to church. You read the Bible. Christ. Now watch this. Let's this see what the Bible says. Bring it out. Watch right. this. What exactly? Does now let's see if God matched that. Go ahead. Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. He already read the verse. We're reading it again. Go ahead. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Go ahead. And the ancient of days did sit. Who was before days was ever created? They said the ancient of days. Who is the ancient of days? Who before days was ever created? Adam and Eve. No, who created days? Adam and Eve. Yes, the days. Who created the days? God. God the fuck. Go ahead, here we go. And the ancient of days did sit. So he sit down. So like the officer was bringing out, he got a body. So that means he got, he can sit. Meaning he got a butt. Am I right? Go ahead. Whose garment? What's white as snow? He had on clothes. No, now he, he got a garment on no, that's no, white. So that means he got a body. No, he didn't. God. Remember. No, he didn't. Watch this. Now watch no, this. He he did. Did. No. no, he didn't. No. Yes. No, he didn't. Now watch this. Exactly, sis. We're reading the Bible. Now, sis, now watch this. No, no, he Don't he get distracted. Don't get distracted with him. Watch this. Watch this. No, he didn't. Now watch this. No, he didn't. Now watch this. Ain't the black man made in the image of God. No, he didn't. So wait. If we're made in the black in the image of God as a black man, what color would no, God he have didn't. to be? He and wouldn't he have to be a man? He be a girl. And wouldn't he have to be a man because the black man is in the image of God? Hey, look exactly. Here. But what about the man? He came in the he's the image of God. So therefore, God is a black man. That's right. We know God has a body, and he sat down and he got on clothes. Go ahead. And the hair of his head 
like the no, pure he, no, he did. What kind of people got her like No, me? he didn't. Thank you. No, so he didn't. Are we reading? So no, now, he is didn't. that invisible? Because you're not reading. Let me ask you you're not reading. No, I got I'm it. Come to you. I got it. Because I, I, I want to sure help my, I wanna help my, well. I I wanna help my brother understand read? where they coming from. My sister in the car. Because you, you got to look. We just read. So it's a man with woolly hair, with clothes, and that is God. Right. So whatever right. people say they don't, that there is no way we know what God looks like. Do, we know we have God is white. Right. Right. And, and then he has yes, a son. Jesus Christ and Jesus said, I look like my father. He was a black man. That's right. So now, right. so right. now, right. now, right. now, right. now, right. now let's ask your question. What's your question? They can find him. Your question. I'm not asking you any questions. My question was, Abraham, back in the day, they were told They would take a white sheet and a black sheet and get a white sheet. What does they got to do with anything? But not only they... They can got them inflated women got their titties. I'm glad what y'all do. You look like a woman. Y'all, y'all, y'all. And what the hell do? Okay, so and you're saying that strong. they can do these inventions and things they like that. They were doing it back then. No. They were doing it back then. Now, let's go. It's Sirach, uh, is uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Actually, one where sin began. One where sin began. So listen to the Bible, because we're not out here to argue with nobody, because ain't nobody stood out here and talked the Bible when we didn't show up. Before we showed up, where was everybody at teaching the Bible? Nobody was teaching the Bible before we started standing here reading. So we're not out here to learn. We out here to teach. Right. Because we are the ones that's reading the Bible to teach our people. That's right. Because everybody else coming with Christianity, which is all lies. Right. So he had mentioned how people started changing what they look like. That's why you have, uh, uh, what you call them, transsexuals today. Right. You got the LGBTQ community today. Right. Men want to change themselves to be women, and women trying to change themselves to be men. Wake them up. that out of the Bible, that that would be idolatry. Now, I want to read... Uh, yeah, read verse 12 first. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. Matter of fact, read 9. Verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. So whenever people are going against God, they hate God. Right. Now, let's see one of the ways they hate. Chapter 12. Verse 12. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Well, so you can commit spiritual fornication by worshiping another god. Yeah, right. Everybody that go to church on Sunday does exactly that. Go ahead. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. And whenever they invent these idols, it is the corruption of life. Now jump down, jump down to 25. Go ahead. Verse 25. So that there reign in all men without exception blood. Manslayer. So when all these evil men, they worship other gods, this is what they did. This is what they did. Go ahead. Manslaughter. They was committing murder. Death. They was robbing each other like we do today. Stealing. Go ahead. And dissimulation. Uh-huh. Corruption. And all our people, our people are corrupt. This whole world is corrupt. Right. They don't follow God. Go ahead. Unfaithfulness. Unfaithfulness. Now you got all kinds of adultery going on in marriages. Right. Because our people are unfaithful. Right. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in the judgments. That's why our communities are the worst. Right. Because right. we're the only ones that got a true God. Go ahead. Tumult. Pojury. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Disquieting of good men. Go ahead. Forgetfulness of good turns. It said disquieting of good men. Good men, where are they at now? No, no they not. Right. No they not in prison. Because all, all, a lot of them are there for a reason. They're just quieting good men. Good men are quiet now. You don't even hear from them. Where the good men at? That's why women say ain't no good men. That's right. Because the good men have fallen off. Right. They ain't got no fight in them because everybody's against them. Right. Go right. ahead. This quiet of good men. You said there's not any good men? Oh, wow. Well, I was, I was big to do. Because according to the Bible, a man that keeps the commandment is considered a good man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He keeps the commandment, loves his wife. Right. He loves his children. Right. He's going to take care of his right. wife. He gonna take care of his children, right. and he gonna come out and upbraid his people. He gonna raise them back up. Go ahead. Forgetfulness of good turn. Go ahead. The falling of soul. Go ahead. Changing of kind. What do our people do? Changing of kind. Now you have homosexuality. Now you have a woman trying to change her privates to be a man, right. and a man changing his privates to be a woman. Changing of kind. All idolatry and spiritual fornication. No, keep reading. Go ahead. 
Disorder in marriages. Disorder in marriage. Cause that's out of order when you get married. Right. right. A woman with a woman is out of order. Right. A man with a man is out of order. That's disorder right. of marriages. Right. Go ahead. Adultery. And adultery is disorder in a marriage. Yes. She said, why is homosexual wrong? Why is homosexual wrong? Watch this. Quick question. Is it genocide to be homosexual? Well, I'm married. Okay. No, no, no. Yes, ma'am. I'm married to me. Yes. Okay, but. No, I get what you're saying. I'm not, I'm not saying that's you. I'm just asking the question. Yeah, no. What I'm saying is, okay. Somebody go over there so I can hear what she's saying. Tell me what she's saying. Because I can hear what she's saying from her. So y'all repeated it back to me live. Because I think she got a good question. Please ask these seven, the last verse. She said it's in it. Okay, so now. Okay, say it again, what she say? She said she likes it's in them. They don't choose to be gay. All right, so listen to this right here. Listen to this. We're gonna read. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. Okay, so you believe in God? Yes. Does God make mistakes? So if God created a man, and he make him to want to be a woman if he created him to be a man. Just off of that logic alone. You said he wrote the Bible. First, first, do you believe in the Bible? No, I, I believe the Bible is my own Okay, I'm asking you based off of I, black men. Black men that are the Jews wrote the Bible. Black men. Black men. So now. No, I'm asking, does God make a mistake? I, it, I'm going to read the scripture. Okay. What she said? She said, she said, she thinks people make mistakes. Uh -huh. But God understands that they make that mistake. Okay. God. Now, is it. That's like. Now, sis, sis, can I answer your question? Let me answer your question. So we're going to read it out of the Bible because you yourself say you believe in this Bible. Okay, do you understand what we're going to read? I'll read okay. it and you okay. tell me okay. what you think. Okay. Let's go Ecclesiastes, then we're going to go to Leviticus 18. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 29. Go ahead. Though this only have I found, that God have made man upright. What does it mean that God made man upright? No, what does it mean? This is talking about this is talking about men in general and women as well. They say God made man upright. She said she she that she understands that God made man head. Okay. I'm gonna read it again. I'm gonna read it again and I'm gonna explain it to you. And then we're gonna read the proof that it's wrong that God did not make a mistake. Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29. Lo, this only have I found. So Solomon is saying this is only. I only know this. Go ahead. That God had made man upright. God made man upright. So if a man wants to be a woman, he's backwards. Right. God didn't make that. A person chose that. So that would mean they did not, it was not in them already because God didn't put it there. They chose that. Now go a little bit, read on down. But they have sought out many inventions. They said they sought out many inventions. Meaning they went against, that's why, that's why you get science. That's where you get science where now a man can go and have surgery and try to be a woman. All of those are unsuccessful. Right. Every surgery, there's not one that's been successful yet. There's not been a woman that's been converted to a man successfully yet. Right. Medically. Because as they do it, they get all kinds of diseases and sickness, surgeries over and over because of infection, because it's not supposed to be there. Because God did not make them that way. Right. He did not make them that way. So they sought out. So the Bible said they sought out many inventions. That's an invention of men. And it's deceiving people. Let's prove it. Go to Leviticus now. Let's read what the law says. We're not supposed to do that. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Yep. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. So I can't lie with a man like I would with a woman. It said thou shalt not. Go ahead. It is abomination. 
abomination. Uh, it is an abomination. Jeremiah 44 and 4. Let's see how God feels about an abomination. So that means we choose to go against God. God did not put that in us. Now something may have happened in our life that was traumatizing that they make, because a lot of times you will, sit, you will hear about our people, they'll get touched, stuff like that, when they're young, and then that's what they want to do. But it's not natural. That's not how it's supposed to be. Right. Because how is man going to be over the house when it ain't no man or you got two women? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. How is, which, how is it man over the house? Which man? If you got two men there, which one over the house now? Somebody got to play the woman. How is a man going to play the woman? And how does a woman play the man? It's not right. It's out of order according to God. Right. Now, because we sin, God said, you know what? I'm going to turn you over to your ruin. I'm going to let you destroy yourself. God says that in the Bible. So, no, he does not understand that we go off. He says, I'm going to punish you. Now, let's read that. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 4. Uh -huh. How be it I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. Plus, every time in the Bible, God always sent prophets to teach the people to repent. What you think we trying to do? Bring it out. Teach our people to repent. We the That's prophets right. that sent to teach our people to repent. To right. give our people true understanding of God. Right. Because a lot of people believe it's, but they're born that way. But we just read, no, they're not. So if we believe God, that would mean God ain't made nobody a man and they're supposed to be a woman or right. a woman that's supposed to be a man that's right. never that would mean god made a mistake <laughs> go ahead rising early and sending them because we get up early to come talk to our people go ahead saying oh do not this abominable thing that i hate we tell people to not do abominations because god hates abominations right. That's right because god will kill us that's why you see now you got more mothers and fathers burying their children today than it ever has been because we go against God. So now we are not going to outlive our kids now when it used to be the other way around. Right. Where the parents would die before the mothers and fathers. Where the parents would die before the children. Now you got children dying before their parents. 16, 17, 18 years old. And now we got a whole lot of mothers and fathers wearing black every week. Right. right. All because. We won't do what God said. Yes. Let's go to Romans chapter one. We're gonna we're gonna read some more about homosexuality in the Bible, where it says do not do so, and we can't even agree with it. If we say, you know what, it's okay that you be that way. That's a sin for me to be like that, even yes. though I'm not the one doing it. I cannot say it's okay, never, because I would be then consenting to your evil. And that's a, and you know you're not doing it, but our people will see other people and we'll say you okay the way you are. God said no, we cannot agree with that action, that way of life, because we're teaching people to be sin. Go ahead. I'm gonna hear a question. Let's read this out. Go Romans ahead. chapter one verse twenty five. Go ahead. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Go ahead. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. And that's what we've done. Now we serve men more than God. Right. It said now we turn the truth of God into a bald faced lie because now we'll say you was born that way. God didn't say that. That means you lie. Right. right. That's how our people lie. Our churches on Sunday allow that in the body and they never correct the men and women that's living like that when they know right. it. They will never say you need to stop. They just ignore it. And, no, and everybody turns a blind eye and says it's okay. While, mind you, AIDS is the, we're the leading race with AIDS. Get out. Black men get it because they sleep with other black men. And then they take it home to their wife and give it to their wife. And then our people will say, let's turn the blind eye. Well, if we stop doing that, that AIDS go away. Right. But we won't even do that. That's judgment from God that right. AIDS is on a person. God gave it to them because they went out there and sinned and committed fornication. So God said, I'm going to punish you. Go ahead. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Uh -huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection he said for this cause because we worship man more than god for that reason god gave us up to our vile affection for a man to one another man that's vile right. for a woman to one another woman that is vile right for a man to want a little boy that is vile right for a woman to want to sleep with a little kid that is vile right so god said because of your evil 
because you want to worship man more than God, I'm going to give you up to your vile affection and you're going to destroy yourself. Go ahead. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. What is the natural use of a woman? To have what? Babies. That's natural for, how is a woman going to have a baby if she's with another woman? Genocide. For, one, uh, uh, for any person that is in sodomy or actually love their lifestyle, for them to say they love they self, they're lying. Right. Because you cannot recreate yourself like that. Right. I love me so much, I got five sons. That's right. I love me that much to recreate me five times. That's right. But whenever, if y what if I was gay? And I say I love me, but I can't recreate me. I can't raise nobody that look like me because I don't want to lay with a woman. I want man. I want a man behind instead of a woman. Don't make sense. Right. That's why the behind is meant for what comes out of it, not nothing to go up in it. Go right. ahead. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. So it didn't just say women would be gay. Now it said men would leave the natural use of a woman. Now he don't even want to sleep with the woman. He want to sleep with another man. Go ahead. Burn in their lust. Burn in their what? Their lust. It's lust. It's sin. That's that is what that is. Whenever a man want to be with a man or a woman with a woman, it is lust. Sin. Right. Go ahead. Burn in their lust. Uh -huh. One toward another. Go ahead. Men with men. Uh huh. Working that which is unseemly. It said men with men doing that which is unseemly. It's unnatural for a man to sleep with a man. It's right. unnatural for a woman to sleep with a woman. Right. It's unseemly. We all, remember back in the day when you was younger, that was not acceptable when you was a child. I know it wasn't, because I'm 41, keep little, if you look like you was acting like that as a little boy, you got your behind me. Right. Now today, everybody glorifies it. Literally, in me and your lifetime, we've seen it to where when we was kids, it wasn't acceptable. Now we've grown, everybody's okay with it. What happened to God in our community? It's been slowly phased out because of the Christian church ain't teaching the truth. Right, right. And because school now is forcing kids to learn, how, why, does, why does a transsexual need to read to my son? Because now they they able to come in public school and read. Read up. But I can't go read to the classroom. I can't do it. They won't let me. But they can. How? Why? And the people be like, well, it's acceptance. For one, I think it's actually awkward that you need to feel like you need to read to my child. Read up. Why does a transsexual have the need to fight for rights to read to children? Why? why you what read? are you trying to convert my child into? So therefore, now I gotta pull them out and do homeschool because I don't want to learn it from them. Right. Go ahead, keep reading. I'm sorry. And, and that which is unseemly uh -huh. and receiving in themselves that, that recompense of that error. It said they receive in themselves that recompense of that error, meaning that payment of that error. So our people receive the payment for that sin, that error. Go ahead. That recompense of their error, which was me, which is good for them. It's good right. for a man to get AIDS because he want to be a homosexual. Right. It's good for a woman to be destroyed because she want to be a homosexual. God said that's me for her. Yes, ma'am. Come on back with some questions. Come on. You ain't even got to leave. You can just stay right there and ask them. All right. Go ahead. We got to read down because remember I read and I told them that we can't even be okay with it. Go ahead. And even as they did not like to restrain, retain God in their knowledge. Because our people did not want to retain God in their knowledge. Jump down to verse uh, 32. Read 32 now. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Who knowing the judgment of God, that which commits such things are worthy of death. Because our people, I'll see you right. Leave it alone because he listened it. Sis. So this right here says our people that work those things which are worthy of death. Because it's worthy of death whenever we are trying to be homosexual. God said that it's worthy of death. Not that you die, but it is worthy of it. Because back in the Old Testament, if we were caught doing that, we were stoned to death. Right. So God said it's worthy of death. And if we accept that, go ahead. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Meaning we, it's saying we would have pleasure in them that do them. You get out the box. This video, we ain't going to box it. Come on at the cop. So it said that even if we have pleasure in them, it said then we also deserve that same death. Right. We're 
gonna read it again. I wanna read it again, Paul. Let's read it again. Let's read it again, Paul. Listen to this verse, sis. Romans chapter 1, verse 32. Go ahead. Who knowing the judgment of God. Because we all know that it's wrong to be that way. We all know it's wrong to live like that. Even the people, even the people of the LGBT community, they know it's wrong for God to live like that. Right. So they know the judgment is worthy of death. Go ahead. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. Go ahead. Not only do the same, uh -huh. but have pleasure in them that do them. So if I'm okay with it, and I'm like, you know what? It's all right that you live like that. If I never correct the person that's like that, it said I'm worthy of death too. Right. It says I'm just as guilty because we're supposed to correct each other and say that's not acceptable. So our people have learned to live against God. Right. And then whenever the truth comes out, our people are like, I don't know if I want to agree with that. I believe in the Bible. Then when we say, okay, we start reading. Well, who wrote the Bible? Well, why didn't you ask that before you said you believed it? Oh, Read up. You ever heard that before, sis? You heard what the sister said. She said it in the car. God is not a flesh. He's a spirit. He, he's a what? He's life. He's what? He's a spirit. So God is a spirit. Okay. Does he? Every man that born from Now what's the spirit of God? Born from the dirt. Give me that in John 6, 63. Now let's read the spirit of God. Because our people like to say that. Now mind you, where was you at before we showed up teaching? He was yelling across the street. Nobody ever teaches until the Bible comes out. Now all of a sudden, everybody's so deep now. Right. Go ahead. Now he said that the Spirit of God, he didn't, well, what's the Spirit of God? What is it? What is it? Huh? God, now, now why can't he explain what it is? Now we're going to read it to you out of the Bible. Let's read what the Spirit of God is out of the Bible. Read that. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the Spirit that quickeneth. It said it is the Spirit that quickeneth. So the Spirit is what changes in amen. Go ahead. The flesh profited nothing. Our flesh don't profit anything because it's going to die. Go ahead. The words that I speak, the words of this Bible, unto you, uh -huh. they are spirit. What are the words of the Bible? They are spirit. Now, how could I prove that? But he could. But he's so deep. Right. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Nation time. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word.
Peace.